Hey guys, so right here behind me, that's the all new 2019 Ram Heavy Duty. And right behind it, that is 35,000 pounds. This is the max tow truck, and that is the heaviest trailer that any heavy duty on the market can currently tow. Now, in this video, we are still under embargo, so I can't exactly tell you how it drives, but we're gonna do our best to show you. We're gonna talk to the chief engineer, we're gonna go over all the towing tech, and then we're gonna get out on the road with this beast of a trailer, so stay tuned. So obviously one of the biggest stories with this new Ram HD is 1,000 pound feet of torque out of this 6.7 Cummins, but it actually has two different outputs. So that top output, 1,000 pound feet, 400 horsepower. If you get the lesser rated model, it's 370 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque. So with those two different outputs, there are two different transmissions that come with them, but they are both six-speed units. Now the other new thing this year is the base engine in the HD is the 6.4 liter Hemi V8, and that is now paired to an eight-speed automatic. So here we are guys in another Ram Heavy Duty. Now this is just a regular cab tradesman 4x2 and the reason for that is this is the max tow configuration. This truck can pull 35,100 pounds and we've got 35 grand on the back and we've got my man Rod driving. So Rod, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, let us know what your title is at Ram. Yeah, so my name's Rod Romain and I'm the chief engineer for Ram Heavy Duty. Very cool. So this is your baby. This is. This is your baby. Um, well, first of all, I mean, just from the passenger seat, you feel that weight back there, no doubt oh, about yeah. it. I mean, this is a big, big, heavy trailer, but that's why you guys went to a thousand pound feet, right? To try to, try to own that weight. So why don't you just maybe talk a little bit about, I think I always come back to confidence when towing, right? Oh, I think yeah. that's the most important word, yeah. you know, because a lot of trucks will tow a lot of weight, but will they do it confidently, right? You don't want to be white knuckling, you don't want to be scared. So why don't you talk maybe through some of the things you guys did to make this truck a confident feeling when you have such a big load on the back? Well, I mean, the, the confidence, right, it starts, as we talked, you know, this morning, the foundation. Everything we did to the chassis, right, to strengthen the chassis with the use of high strength steel, the work we've done on the suspension, you know, to smooth out the ride, mm -hmm. but still provide that confidence and that stability, roll stiffness, right? The the thousand pound feet, huge enabler, of obviously. Um, and then, but that combined with the transmission, I mean, as you can see, we're going downhill right now, right? I don't have my foot on the brake, just a little bit to get the exhaust brake to work. Right, we're coming down a hill, we're holding 45 mile per hour. And the truck just does it. The truck's just doing it, right? That's the confidence part where you've got enough, you got enough on your mind when you're towing heavy loads. Sure. That the more that the truck can do to make it easier on you, mm -hmm. the better off it is, right? It's just, you're not tired at the end of the day when you get out of the truck, mm -hmm. right? Because the truck does so much for you already. Yeah, and it definitely sounds like that was a bit of a focus just taking some of that control out of customers hands but just making sure that the truck knows exactly what's going on when right. you're going up a grade down a grade and just as like you said take care of it sort of seamlessly right. in the background right right now um, i mean and the customer still has the the fill ability right you can still change gears from yeah, the steering wheel steering controls wheel. so right if you want to grab another gear you can do that right if you want to use the full exhaust brake and modulate that on and off you know depending on with your foot on or off the throttle sure so you still have those options um but, but for the most part, right, you don't you don't have to intervene because the truck has gotten the, the integration between the the engine and the trans and the vehicle has gotten so good that it, it pretty much it does it for you. So much of the work for you. Yeah. So big torque numbers also means big trailer number. So the max tow on this truck is 35,100 pounds. Now that is a Reg Cab Tradesman 4x2 model. It's not going to be the volume model. And that's only with the gooseneck, but still 35.1, that's a huge number. Now payload comes in at 7,680 pounds. But once again, you have to get the right configuration to get that max payload number. 
So that's the max payload rating, but I want to just show you guys, this is a Bighorn right here, 2500. This thing is rated for payload at 1,675 pounds. So as I mentioned, it's really dependent on what options you get and what trim you get as to what your payload rating is going to be, and you better research that. And one of the cool things that Ram does on their website, you can go there, put in the VIN of your exact truck, and it will spit out your specific payload and towing numbers, which is a pretty cool thing. So one of the things I'm really interested in, and I think a lot of people are too, are the, and you can correct me if I say this wrong, the mass tuned dampers, mass yes. control dampers? Yeah, ATML. Okay. Active AT. tuned mass modules. Active tuned mass yes. modules. I was a little close. No, yeah. Not really. But anyways, active tuned mass modules is something which I think is really interesting. It's something, you know, new to pickup trucks. Right. So if you wouldn't mind just talking a little bit about those and how they come into play, especially when you're towing a big load. Well, you know, in the... The way the way they work is they're basically it's it's a mass, right, and it's in a, a kind of it's mounted to the side of the frame, and what it does is as there's vibrations in that vehicle, that module will actually shake to provide a, a signal or a, a, a basically it cancels it out. Yeah, yeah, a counter vibration. Counter outside. vibration. That's a great way to put yeah. it. And that combined with active noise cancellation, yeah. right now you've 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 been able to knock out the vibration, and you've you've taken out the noise as well. Mm -hmm. And and for you the viewers out there, the number is 10 decibels, right? They say in, yep. in the interior of the new HD, you're 10 decibels quieter. Yep. Now, and a lot of that, you know, with we added acoustic glass in the windshield and acoustic glass in the first row, so you get a lot of benefit from that. So this HD can be had in six different flavors, and here are three of them behind us, and it gives you a good sense for the differences in style that you get especially up front on the grill so I just want to show you guys real quick some of the different designs and most importantly the different headlight designs so there are three different headlights here on the HD this is a tradesman so that's the basic headlight now we move up to a big horn and this is the headlight design you're getting with those two kind of LED strips on either side and then most importantly move up to the limited now this is the top trim headlight you can see those four little cool LEDs in there, but what's most important about these headlights is they are, they will follow you around the corner. So as you turn, they're going to turn with you, which is pretty cool. You can also pay attention to the different grill designs. There's Limited, there's Bighorn, there's Tradesman. So, you know, it really depends on what trim you get as to what your HD is going to look like. So in these HDs, you can still get a bare bones truck like this. This is a tradesman model. And I know what you're thinking, what's it worth? Well, sadly, we cannot tell you pricing yet, but that'll be out soon. And these trucks will be hitting dealerships in the second quarter of 2019. With the improvements in aero, right? If, now that you've, the wind is going around the truck easier, Better yet. right? You get less aspiration at the A pillars and the wind's going around and it's not making as much noise either. And do you know the, the CD off the top of your head? Uh, 0.409. 0.409. Very cool. And actually, that plays into my next question perfectly, which is just the, the fuel economy picture. I mean, obviously, having a, a slipperier truck is going to help you with fuel economy. Um, was there anything else you guys did that sort of focused on maybe not burning as much fuel? Well, I mean, the, the, the engine calibration, right, just the efficiencies within the engine, mm -hmm. right, the driveline efficiencies, weight reduction. Yeah, the weight reduction is a big one, I think. Right? You guys focused a lot on 143 it. pounds. If we did it, just, if we touched apart, we looked for opportunities not only to strengthen that part, but to reduce the delay, weight, right? Improve the frequency for NVH, like the exhaust hangers, things like that. Ram says that the new HDs lost a little bit under 150 pounds. Now, 30 of those pounds are out of the frame alone, and that's thanks to new high strength steel. The engine, this Cummins, is still an I6 and still 6.7 liter, but now it's a compacted graphite iron block. That's making it lighter, too. And right here, we have an aluminum hood. What kind of fuel economy, Steve? We don't know, of course, because it's an HD, but you know what? Stay tuned till we run this thing up the Ike, and then we'll tell you what it burns. And full disclosure guys, Ram did fly us out here to test these trucks. We're out here in California where all the natives are complaining about how cold it is, but I'm out here in short sleeves. Give me a break. It's still pretty warm. Dude, it's like 32 degrees. Oh, come on. It's like 50. This is balmy. Even the brakes and the, when we redesigned the brakes, right, going for minimal drag on the brakes, mm -hmm. right, because if you've got just a slight amount of drag, not even that you're, the brakes are on, 
but if there's any drag at all, we were able to take some of that out and get improvements from that as well. Yeah, and, and larger brakes, of course, right? So this yeah. is the max toe. Yes, it is. And once again, let me test my memory. 365 millimeter? That's correct. 360, nice. 365 <laughs> on the rear rotors. In the rears. And 360 on the front. Gotcha. So you do get the larger brakes to compensate for the big loads, yep. right? Yep. I, I always love asking this question, sort of, what's your favorite thing on this new truck? If there's one thing that you guys did that you think is, like, really, really cool, you know, that maybe the customers wouldn't think about, is there something that stands well, out to you? So the thing, that my favorite part of the truck is the confidence. Okay. So it's probably not the answer you were hoping for. I was going to, you know, <laughs> give you a thousand pound feet. It's the confidence. Yeah. All of that builds into it though, right? It's it's the thousand pound feet. It's the upgrades to the transmission for the improved shift control, right? It's the suspension to be able to handle the load. It's the steering, right? And all of the, the tech features that we've added, right? The cameras, all of that, it all builds into it. Again, right, when you're in the truck for 11 hours a day hauling a heavy load, you've got enough on your mind, right? And, yeah. and when you can when you can drive 11 hours and, and climb out of that truck and you're not tired, right? You're not, you know, you're not hanging onto the wheel, you know, because it's just, it's huge. Yeah, you walk away, you're not feeling run down when you get out of your truck at the end of the day, which to me, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, as you know, I've driven a truck for a long time. That wasn't the case even a decade ago, no, right? And in, sure. in a heavy duty pickup where you, you were much more a part of the equation, right? Yes. Now the truck does so much for you. Yep. So one of the cool new features here on the HD is the 360 degree surround view camera system. And actually I think one of the coolest parts of that is a new auxiliary camera you can get and you can stick it on the back of your trailer or even inside your trailer so you can see whatever you want. That's a great feature too. You can zoom right in on the hitch and then you have those guidelines to help you hook up. And of course, this is just one of the things that was lifted off of the new 1500 because frankly, this whole interior is basically just transplanted out of the half ton and right here into the HD. HD, which isn't a bad thing because the 1500 has an absolutely beautiful interior. Now, one of the things worth mentioning, this is the same cab as the previous generation HD. The cab didn't change, just everything going on with the frame and in here has changed. So Ram didn't change the cab here, which means that you can still get this massive mega cab version. And one of the coolest things about the mega cab is right here. The rear seat actually reclines, so if you want to lean back and get comfortable, you can. But then besides that, you also just get a ton of storage space when these things are folded flat. So is this as basic as it gets? Like there's no options on this truck? It's got know? power windows. Power windows, I yeah. like it. So, <laughs> is there roll-up windows? Yes. Oh, there are. Yeah, cool. Roll -up windows. <laughs> But sadly, no more manual, right? No more manual. And and you know what? This is the funniest one too, because everyone, you know, we did a bunch of videos already on the truck. Yep. Of course, we heard that all over the comment section, yes. people about the manual. But but you know, if every one of those commenters had a bought a manual, we might still have one. Yep. <laughs> you know, that's the truth of it. Yeah. Because we all think it's cool to have a manual, and, and but you know, no one's buying them, right? Yeah, that, the, that, that must have been the, the, the yeah, reason. The demand for the or for the demand for the the manuals has gone down year after year after year. Yeah. Um, there's just not a not a big enough demand. It's a very, very small percentage. Yeah, that's what we hear again across the whole industry. It makes me sad, but, you know, it's reality, right? Yep. And the truth is, too, that automatics are so good, right? That's that's why this whole shift has really taken place, I think. Well, exactly. Is, is the day that, you know, the automatic was faster on a drag strip was the day the manual started to die, right? right. Because they can just shift so well for you. And, of course, that's a sports car application, right? right. You know, but it's heavy it, trucks. It's the same it, thing. It's the same in the truck, right? Yeah, they with, think so well. With the increased torque and horsepower and the automatic applications, with the tow haul strategies and the shift maps that can adapt for what you're hauling. Yeah. Right, it it it's it has replaced the manual because it's it does it for you now. Yeah, yeah, we're catching the big rigs here coming up the grade, and a lot of them on this stretch have already seen you know do the four-way flashers and stick in the right lane. Yeah. We don't got to do that. And are you foot on the floor? Yeah, foot on the floor. Okay. Foot on the floor, gaining speed. We're doing 50, rolling up grade. Yeah, just maintaining 50. As long as you can beat the big trucks, man, you never want to be the guy slowing them down, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so we've lost a little bit of speed, we're down to 45, but again, just looking at every other truck on this hill, we're still maintaining better than all of them are, that's yeah. for sure. So here's, here's another question, actually, yeah. things keep coming to me. So this is about the adaptive cruise. This might be a tricky one. Um, I, I've long thought that adaptive cruise control on pickup trucks is awesome. Yep. But with the load on, 
does your adaptive cruise adjust its distances at all? It's not necessarily that it adjusts the difference. The, the calibration for the heavy duty trucks is unique to the heavy duty trucks. Okay. So you can change the gap. Sure. And that's been the trailer distance and the following and the way the vehicle responds, how quickly it comes off throttle, how quickly it applies the brakes and uses the exhaust brake if that's on. Yeah. Right. That all plays in. So it's not that it's it says, oh, hey, there's a trailer. I'm going to change my distance. Yeah, it's just... It, it's basically the, how the calibration was set up for the heavy duty. Gotcha. Because what, and I'm not sure if you guys ever did this test, but my thought was always, I'm doing 55 miles an hour. I have the shortest distance yep. and the heaviest trailer on. If that guy locks his wheels up, is the truck going to be able to stop? And, 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 of course, you and I both know that... As the driver, you're responsible for your own following distance, but I always worry that maybe a customer trusts the truck too much. And, and so is that a test that, that you guys have done, or do you know well, what kind of crash testing was done with the... <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't go out on the public roads with the trailers and try that one. But, sure, that's fair. <laughs> but as far as how the calibrations are set up, right, it's, it's kept that in mind. Now, obviously, if somebody pulls in front of you, right, there are situations that are unavoidable. And it Absolutely. is a, it's a driving aid. Yeah. Right? It's not a... It's not a level of and, and that's replace the driver. That's a conversation across the whole industry right now, yeah, right? As things yeah. go semi-autonomous, you know. So I guess I'm talking to you guys now. You're still in charge, you know. The trucks are super smart now, but you're still the one driving. So yep. make sure you're doing uh, the, the smartest things and best practices, right? Well, I can also say after doing this much of a drive, it still sounds like a Cummins. I'm very happy about that, you know, keeping the i6 6.7, and the Cummins has such a unique tone to it, um, and it still definitely sounds like a Cummins, you know? So one of the things that, you know, when we, we obviously, it's quieter, one of the things we, we didn't want to, we didn't want to eliminate the Well, I'm sound. assuming you must hear that too from customers, yeah. which is, you know, I bought a Cummins to hear the Cummins. Right. However, you also don't want it to be loud enough that it drones and gets exactly. annoying, right? Exactly. So it's a so fine balance. We wanted to keep the sound of the diesel. We just turned the volume down a little mm -hmm. bit, right? So it's still there. Yeah, You I'm still know what's under the hood. Yeah. But it's not as loud, right? Yeah. The overall cabin's a little yeah. quieter. The, the exhaust brake, to me, is, is noticeably quieter. Yep. You know, because the old Cummins exhaust brake really kicked in. Yeah. And it, the exhaust brake still works the same. I mean, you're still getting the same levels. Sure. But because the cabins have gotten quieter, it's just it doesn't quieter. get rid of it, right? You can still hear it. It's just not as pronounced. No. Absolutely. All right, guys. So it's clear that Ram spent a lot of time making this truck the most confident heavy duty ever. And it still lays claim to being best in class when it comes to overall towing. But that could change soon. This coming Tuesday in just a few days from now, Chevy and Ford are going to reveal their new heavy duty pickup trucks. This is truly the year of the HD truck. So the wars are heating up and I cannot wait to see what everyone is going to bring to this segment. So make sure you guys come right back here to TFL Truck to get info on all of those trucks and as always go below hit subscribe and stay tuned for the latest news views and real world reviews see ya